Let's talk about the insurance substitution codes. This feature has actually been around in Open Demo for quite a while, but there is a new wrinkle here in the current version. So what I've done is put in two posterior composites and two crowns for Donald. One's a bicuspid and the other is a molar. And this is where the substitution codes come in. If we go to lists and procedure codes, and we'll just enter a posterior composite code. Okay, so there we go. There's our normal fee for that. If we double click on this, here's where the substitution comes in. Now you don't have to use this, but these substitution codes for posterior composites are automatically set up for you in Open Dental. When you use this procedure code in your treatment plan or when you post it, this is saying that this is the fee that the insurance company will downgrade their payment for. You are still entitled to your full fee from the patient, but the insurance company is only going to allow an amalgam fee. Okay, so when you're doing your estimates, this is really important to let the patient know, here's our fee for that posterior composite that you wanted. The insurance company is only going to allow benefits. They're going to downgrade it to an amalgam fee. And they're going to downgrade it to an amalgam fee if it's on a molar. Now, this is where you can change it, for instance. You can go in here and say, I always want that downgraded. Whenever I do a posterior composite, I wanted the insurance estimate downgraded. Now keep in mind, this is not downgrading your fee. This is downgrading what the insurance company is going to pay against that fee. And I want to say, okay, it's always going to downgrade that to the amalgam code. So these things are set up in the case of posterior composites are set up for you already in Open Dental. This is where you set things globally. In other words, if I change it here, whatever I put in there, where it's molars or second molar or whatever, uh, it will apply to all insurance plans when you use the substitutions. That's the old way to do it. Well, let's look at that for just a second. If we go into Donald's treatment plan here, you notice I've got the X over here for substitution. And what it's doing is substituting, in the case of the composites, it's substituting the amalgam fee for the composite fee. Again, you're still entitled to your still for your full fee. It's just showing you how much the insurance is going to allow for that so you can do more accurate financial arrangements. We'll come back and look at crowns here in just a second. Well, what if you say, listen, I don't want to horse around with this stuff. Uh, I want to take those out without making a global change. You can go in here to the, your insurance, double click here, and go up to this guy right here where it says other insurance info and say right here, don't substitute codes. Just click on that little box and say OK. And you can come back into the treatment plan and see the effect that it has. Now, always, 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 when you make a change, or even when you don't, it's just a good habit to get into to update your fees. In this case, it did it already for me, but it's just a good habit to get into. So our total fee is the same, but the insurance allowance increased because we're not allowing them to make any substitutions. That may not be accurate. It may be, indeed, the insurance company is going to downgrade some of these things. In the past, the way it was set up globally, you either accepted it and did the substitutions or you didn't. It was either on or off. What's new now in 18.4 is we can go back in here. We can go back, open this, and go to this little tab, other information, and we can look at our substitution codes in here. So we can modify these guys. First of all, we want to unclick that because we do want to use the substitutions, but we want to set them up for this particular plan. So what I'm going to say is in this, the case of this particular plan, they will pay for posterior composites on bicuspids but not on molars. So I can selectively change these things in here. So I can edit these things for crowns as well. I'm going to say they always will downgrade for porcelain on molars. And so now we say OK. 
Now don't forget when you set these things up in here to go down here and change the plan for all subscribers because we don't want to change it just for Donald. We want to change it for everybody that has this particular plan. Don't worry, we don't want that checked there. Okay, let's go back again now that we've made those changes for this particular plan and look at the treatment plan. And let's be sure we go up and update our fees even though it did that already for us, okay? So there's our fees the same, but the allowance has changed in here. And look, it knew the difference between a bicuspid where it didn't do the substitution. Remember we said molars only. So it did not substitute for a posterior composite on a bicuspid, but it did make the substitution for the molar. Now here you can see the same thing with the crown down here. It made the substitution for the molar, it did not make the substitution for the bicuspid. And you can change this again and say, well, they'll pay for porcelain on first molars, and we could go back and change that. So you can see this is very granular. And what this allows you to do is get a better estimate of what you think the insurance is gonna pay. And again, you always wanna tell the patient this is an estimate. But little tools like this make it possible to get a much closer estimate than with a lot less work than we could do before. So once you set this up for this particular plan, by going in here and setting the substitution codes, okay, that you allows you to make this much more accurate financial arrangements. So this is an example of a tool that's just gotten better and better in Open Dental, but that I have not seen in other practice management software. So kind of keep that in mind, and again, another reason to upgrade to the current version of Open Dental.